Jared Poland Frono's photo. Dot com, and we're here with the raw edit of the week, number 60. We've hit 60 weeks, and it's brought to you by Allenscamera.com, who actually starting today when I'm putting this video up, which is the 17th of January, is running a Sigma deal. Uh, you can check them out at, give them a call, 215 No, that's my phone number. I'm not giving you my cell number. Uh, just look at Allen's. Go to allenscamera.com. You can get all the information for the sale that they're running on all lenses. I believe $200 and, $200 and up, you're going to get 50 bucks off. This is the raw edit of the week 60 as supplied by Adam Lerner. It's a behind-the-scenes shot of a model getting ready to go down the runway. And if you recall, back a couple weeks ago, we had the ScreenFlow finalists or the ScreenFlow uh, contest for somebody to win. And there's been, I think I picked six different screen flows here for you guys to vote on so please go ahead and do that vote uh, the link is below on fronosphoto.com so here's the photo to edit there's some interesting directions that you can take this and I've already thought of some ways that I would take this I mean it's a great shot you see right you know right into the face eyes look great lips look incredible I mean that's what happens when you're looking at a model shot with a Nikon D3S 1 60th of a second, 3.2 ISO 1670 millimeters on the 24 to 70. You know, it's funny, I would have totally bumped the ISO up on this to give me a faster shutter speed or whatnot, but that was, hey, whatever. That is what it is. I know that it was, this was taken a while ago, and, and I know when you first get a D3S and stuff like that, that you kind of are worried about bumping it, but then you bump it and you're like, yes. It's awesome. So here it is. What are you going to do with it? How are you going to edit it? Are you going to use Lightroom 4, Lightroom 3? Are you going to use Apple Aperture? Let us know what program you edited in. And if you're doing it in Lightroom 4, I'd be interested to see some screen flows of you guys doing it in Lightroom 4. Be sure to rename your files, Fro Knows Photo, Raw Edit 60, when you go ahead and post them on Facebook, but most, likely, uh, most definitely post them in the forum because that is where I take the photos from for your raw edits of the week each and every week. So something new, you can add it to Pinterest. Go ahead and put your photo on Pinterest or repin the photo that I put on Pinterest. You can follow me on Pinterest by finding, uh, I believe it's just under Jared Poland and we're going to try out Pinterest and see how it works. So Flickr, Facebook, Google Plus, um, and in the forum is where you can put that. Be sure to do your screen flows and make them a video response to this video, and I will definitely check them out and showcase them at the end of the week when it comes to your raw edits of the week. I like to put the videos over there in a playlist along with the uh, your edits, so that is cool. So this is raw edit of the week number 60. Let's see what you do with it. Do those normal edits, but then go ahead and throw in one of those abstract off the wall, something totally different where you're just trying something experimental, and let's see what you come up with. If you'd like to send in a raw file, go ahead and send it to fronosphoto at gmail.com. Something cool. Let's see what those files are. I've got a backlog of them that have come in. I'm always looking for newer shots. Something cool that's worth editing that a lot of people can do. That would, yeah, that would be great. So that's Raw Edit of the Week number 60. Thank you, Alan's Camera, to be, uh, for being the sponsor. Don't forget about that Sigma deal that's running right now, January 17th, uh, for the next couple days. And this is 2011 when this video is going, no, 2012 when this video is going up. There you have it. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya! Thank you.